Hello everybody and I welcome all of you to the next video of our study by technology. Before we go ahead, let me introduce myself. My name is Deep Pandey and having more than 12 years of IT experience and various MNCs including TCS, Accenture, Samsung and so on. And more than four years of experience on big data technologies that include uh, Hadoop, MongoDB, Cassandra, Spark, Scylla and so on. And moreover, I'm an author of a book also, Be a Big D, which is actually a comprehensive book on big data and Hadoop. And currently, I'm serving as a founder and chief executive officer of Studyway Technology. So let's move towards our technical part. Today, we will see about how to import data from a database using free form query or customizing the data transfer. In your last video, you have seen that uh, uh, like you have to use uh, double hyphen table, right? Double hyphen columns to get the selected column and uh, check out for any kind of where uh, where clause if it is required. All these things we have already seen it. But in this class, we will be discussing about if you have a dedicated query, how you can use that particular query to import the data to DFS using a scoop. Okay, so. Let's move further. We can see here that we have two different tables. These are all normalized tables. Like ID here in this uh, city table, ID is a primary key and in the state, this is state underscore ID is a primary key and these are the related for, uh, foreign key as well. So now I want to uh, get some selected set of data like ID, city and state, all right? After joining these two tables. So I need that particular set of data. So the output data is expected to have uh, this kind of view. Let us say uh, ID, then city, and then state. Okay. Now, the thing is, before we go ahead, let me show you the database as well. Let me show you uh, what are the data here. Log into this. Okay, this is my MySQL, and I have a database as like this. Okay, I have a database name as demo, so I'm going to use this. Use demo. Okay, now if I fire command like show tables, I have these two tables. Okay, I have a table like select sub form. City. Let's take it like this. Okay, you can see here that these are the uh, cities. Similarly, we can fire command like select star from state. Something like this. UP, Haryana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. Okay. Now I want to get the result. What what are the data that we will be getting into our DFS after joining these two tables? And this join should be done based on state underscore ID. So what are the expected data that's what I'm looking for? Let me fire a query related to that as well. Like if I want to join these two tables, it should be something like select city dot ID. Okay, city dot city. Right, then state dot state. Right, then from which table you are looking for, you are looking for city and then join this table with the state, okay, using which one you have to use, you can use this state underscore ID, okay, using state underscore ID, fine, so this is your uh, query and uh, from here you will get your expected output. This is my expected output from this particular table, right? So how we can write this kind of query in our scoop command? That is a very important term, right? Because otherwise, if you, uh, uh, you know, migrate data one by one from each of the table, and then later on you can club it, it's a little bit cumbersome task actually. So we can directly migrate data after joining these uh, here only, and then uh, you will get a result of that, this particular data set in your DFS. 
okay so for this we have a few important terms first one is your query so the thing is like uh, like whenever you import your uh, freeform query you must specify this uh, query part and within that query part you can specify whatever the query you are looking for okay another very important characteristic over here is something like uh, uh, whenever you are going to import using a free form query you must specify the destination directory with target dir as you all know very well this is your this is showing your dfs directory only okay if you want to import the results of a query in parallel then each map task will need to execute a copy of the query and this will result in par, uh, data which is partitioned by bounding condition which is again inferred by scoop only so your query must include the token dollar condition which each scoop process will replace with a unique condition expression and also you must have to select a splitting column with argument split by so this is my uh, small command like whenever you are doing it in a kind of a parallel processing or if you are doing it as a part of your CVL processing okay so let's go ahead let me correct it let's make it CVL as for CVL process okay so you have already seen the data what kind of data it is so let me come out of the MySQL and let us clear the screen so that you can have a better view so here is the command let me directly use it okay now let me explain this command all the concepts one by one scoop import then double hyphen connect jdbc mysql localhost 3306 you know very well what is this actually if you have any doubt you are uh, expected to refer to my previous videos then this is your database name this is the username that is the root and hyphen capital p that means like it should ask the password at the moment i execute this particular query and now i'm going to use this free form query so it should be uh, with double hyphen query and then select city.id city.city and state dot state from city join state these are the two table name using stat underscore id which is actually part of a foreign key here here dollar condition that has to be specified whenever you are using any free form query now i want this data to be split by id and it should go to the target directory user study bay hyphen p the thing is like uh, in this case, this all these data will be parallelly fetched by your MapReduce task actually. Okay. So now let us let's execute it and let's see what happens here. It is asking for the password. Let me enter the password here. And this is split by you can check it either you may want to make it as a split by ID or state ID, state name, whatever city name, whatever the setting you want to use, you can use it over here okay so you can see here that map reduce job has been started so let's see what happens 40 percent uh, done moving on okay you can see here that it's just retrieved five records here so now let me check it out what are those five records root ls hyphen ls user study way um what was that is it hyphen oh uh, yes this is hyphen p you can see here that there were five different records each particular file will contain only one record which is because this is actually split by id field only 
right? And we have uh, five records for the same. So let me use it over here. Yeah. Like this. You can see here that this is your first record. Since the partition is done, uh, it's uh, parallel processing. So each and every query has been executed independently by uh, this is cook command. You can see here, this is the result of your parallel processing. So, right? So this way you can see here that due to this parallel processing part, your, uh, that number of files have been created and you can choose it whatever the as per the requirement of them. This is the first case that is about parallel processing. Okay. Next one is something of serial processing. So the only difference is that in case of parallel processing, you have to use this argument split by ID. Okay. But in case of CVA processing, you have to use only hyphen M1. Okay. Don't get confused with double hyphen M as what we have discussed in our previous uh, uh, classes or previous videos. There when I've explained you that double hyphen M is with M is uh, one is required in case the table do not have primary key. Okay. But here I'm using only single hyphen M so that the CVA processing should take place. Okay. So let me copy this command directly. And now it should go to study bay CVFS. Let me clear the screen so that you can have a better view. Okay. Again, the same command, only difference is here you are using hyphen M1. Once you click on enter, it will ask the password like this. Now it's showing that uh, started MapReduce job. Good. I just retrieved five records. Let me check those five records. Sorry, wait. S Hadoop FS hyphen LS. Now you can see here that since this processing is done on a parallel or serial basis, so you will get finally you will get only one file. And if you try to check this, let me let me use it. Uh, this should be zero, zero, and then make it Hadoop FS hyphen uh, ls cat user study bay hyphen s. That is uh, it's for serial part. I have created one directory here. Once you check into this you will be able to see that your entire data is now migrated to a particular file because all this done in a serial man manner so that's why it is showing you in single file over here okay so these are the two methods by which you can use your query freeform query to migrate data from your traditional rdbms it may be sql server it may be mysql oracle or whatever to the DFS, and in that case you don't have to use a table or column kind of uh, argument you can use this in case of joins also so that the task can be uh, your uh, effort can be reduced for uh, making uh, uh, for combining these tables or something like that okay this is how you can use the preform query here if you have any more, uh, more requirement, if you need to go to some trainings and all, mm -hmm. you are expected to visit uh, www.studybay.in. You can mail us at hr at studybay.in or call us at 700-70-34421. In case you want to go for the self-study part, you can order your copy of my book, Be a Big D, from uh, pothi.com with the node number 188-662. So that's all for today. Have a nice time ahead and take care of yourself and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe these videos. Thank you so much.